Have you ever wondered about the darkest chapter in human history? The Atlantic slave trade stands as an indelible mark of profound tragedy, where human beings were valued less than animals. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our thought-provoking content. Today we're diving into a dark chapter of history, exploring the harrowing realities of the Atlantic slave trade. Join us as we uncover the brutal truths behind this tragic period and shed light on the ongoing impact it has had on generations. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, millions of Africans were forcibly taken from their homes, subjected to unimaginable suffering, and exploited for the economic gain of European powers. The historical context. The Atlantic slave trade wasn't just some random thing that happened out of nowhere. Nope, it had a whole bunch of historical stuff behind it, like a big old tree with roots going deep into the ground. If you want to wrap your head around how messed up it was, you gotta dig into what was going on back then. Picture this. It's the 15th century, and everyone's all hyped up about exploring new lands and trading stuff. Countries like Portugal, Spain, England, France, and the Netherlands are flexing their muscles, trying to be the big shots in the world. And hey, with better ships and navigation, they're sailing all over the place, looking for new trade routes and goodies to bring home. But here's where things get ugly they start realizing they need a heck of a lot of cheap labor to work their plantations in the Americas. And guess what? Indigenous folks just ain't cutting it. So, they start eyeing Africa and thinking, hey, those folks might do the job. And that's how the whole slave trade mess got started. See, it wasn't just about making some quick cash. Nah, it was all tangled up with politics and money. These European countries were all trying to outdo each other showing off how many colonies they could snatch up and how much power they could grab. And what better way to show off than by having a boatload of enslaved people work in your fields, right? So, they got greedy, struck deals, and started shipping Africans across the ocean like they were cargo. It wasn't pretty, and it sure as heck wasn't fair. But for those in charge, it was all about the bottom line, making that sweet, sweet moolah. And while they were getting richer, millions of Africans were suffering, torn away from their homes and forced into a life of misery. So yeah, when we talk about the Atlantic slave trade, we ain't just talking about some random historical event. We're talking about a whole messed up system built on greed, power, and the suffering of millions of people, age of exploration and European expansion. The 15th century? Oh boy, let me tell you, it was like the big bang of exploration. Picture this, Europe was buzzing with excitement like a kid in a candy store with all the cool stuff they wanted to check out. And you know what made it all possible? Yup, you guessed it. Fancy new gadgets and gizmos. Thanks to these nifty advancements in navigation and shipbuilding, sailors were like, hey, let's set sail and see what's out there. And off they went, bravely venturing into the great unknown. Now why were they so eager to sail off into the sunset? Well, it wasn't just for the thrill of it, although that was definitely part of it. See, Europe was itching to get its hands on some serious loot. They wanted spices, silks, and all those fancy goods from far off lands. But here's the kicker. The usual trade routes were kind of blocked by this big old empire called the Ottoman Empire. So Europe had to get creative and find new ways to reach those treasure troves. And that's where the whole exploration thing came in handy. So these European nations like Portugal, Spain, England, France, and the Netherlands started sending out ships left and right, looking for shortcuts and secret passages to the riches of the East. And you know what? They hit the jackpot. They discovered new lands, met new people, and traded goods like never before. It was like the Wild West, but on the high seas. But it wasn't all smooth sailing, oh no. There were storms, pirates, and all sorts of dangers lurking out there. Plus, these assailers didn't exactly have GPS or Google Maps to guide them. Nope, they relied on good old-fashioned navigation skills and a bit of luck to find their way. And you know what? They did pretty darn well for themselves. By the end of the 15th century, Europe was sitting pretty, with colonies all over the map and a booming trade network that spanned the globe. They had access to all the spices, silks, and riches they could ever want. And they were calling the shots in the world of commerce. It was like they were the kings of the sea, ruling over a vast empire of trade and wealth. So yeah, the 15th century? It was a game changer, my friend. 
It paved the way for the age of exploration, shaped the course of history, and laid the foundation for the globalized world we know today. And it all started with a few brave sailors, some fancy ships, and a whole lot of ambition. Disruption of African societies. African societies back in the day were like a big melting pot of all sorts of cool stuff. You had different tribes, different ways of running things, and tons of colorful traditions. It was like a whole buffet of culture. But then, along came those Europeans, and boy did they shake things up. At first, it was all sunshine and rainbows. European traders were like, hey, let's be pals and trade some goods. And Africans were like, sure thing, neighbor. But then, things started to go south real quick. See, those Europeans had a big appetite for cheap labor, especially in their American colonies. What did they do? They started snatching up Africans left and right, treating them like goods to be bought and sold. It was like something out of a nightmare. Families were torn apart, communities were shattered, and chaos reigned supreme. But it wasn't just the emotional toll that was devastating. Oh no, it was the economic and cultural fallout too. African societies that once thrived on their own terms were suddenly thrown into disarray. Trade networks crumbled, economies tanked, and centuries-old traditions were wiped out in the blink of an eye. And you know what the craziest part is? This whole mess wasn't just a blip on the radar. Nope, it had ripple effects that are still being felt today. The scars of that dark period in history run deep, leaving a lasting legacy of pain and suffering. But hey, Here's the silver lining. Despite all the hardship, African societies are resilient as heck. They've bounced back stronger than ever, reclaiming their heritage and building a future that's bright and hopeful. So yeah, take that colonialism. Demand for cheap labor. European explorers sailing off into the unknown, landing on the shores of the Americas, and claiming vast swaths of land for their empires. Sounds exciting, right? But here's where things take a dark turn. See, these European powers had big dreams of making it rich in the New World. They wanted to grow all sorts of goodies like sugar, tobacco, cotton, and coffee. But there was a little problem. They needed people to do all the hard work. And not just a few folks, oh no. They needed an army of laborers to toil away in the fields day in and day out. Now, you might be thinking, why not just hire some locals to do the job? Well, turns out, that wasn't such an easy option. The indigenous populations had their own way of life and weren't too keen on being bossed around by newcomers. Plus, many of them were dying off due to diseases brought over by the Europeans. So, what's a colonial power to do? Enter stage left, Africa. With its bustling cities and thriving civilizations, it seemed like the perfect solution to the labor shortage problem. European traders set their sights on Africa where they found a ready supply of able-bodied men and women who were snatched away from their homes and forced into a life of bondage. And just like that, the demand for cheap labor skyrocketed, all in the name of building empires and lining pockets with gold. It was a dark chapter in history, one that's left a lasting scar on the world to this day. But hey, let's not dwell on the negatives. Instead, let's learn from the past and strive to build a future where everyone is treated with dignity and respect emergence of the slave trade. In the grand scheme of history, the European nations were like players in a high-stakes game, each vying for dominance and glory. Picture it, a map of the world with borders constantly shifting as countries race to claim new territories and expand their empires. But why all the fuss? Well, it all boils down to power, wealth, and bragging rights. You see, back in the day, having a bunch of colonies was like having a shiny trophy on your shelf. It showed everyone just how mighty and important you were. And let's not forget about the riches that came with those colonies. From precious metals to exotic spices, there was no shortage of goodies to be plundered from the lands across the seas. But perhaps the most shameful part of this colonial conquest was the use of enslaved labor. European powers didn't just want land and resources, they wanted cheap or free labor to exploit them. And so, Millions of Africans were forcibly taken from their homes and shipped off to work on plantations and in mines, all in the name of profit and power. But here's the kicker. Despite all the suffering and injustice, colonialism also sparked a wave of cultural exchange and innovation. 
Foods, languages, and ideas from around the globe mingled and mixed, shaping the world as we know it today. While the acquisition of colonies may have been a dark chapter in history, it also laid the groundwork for the interconnected world we live in now. And perhaps, if we learn from the mistakes of the past, we can build a future where power is measured not by conquest, but by compassion and cooperation. The Middle Passage the capture of Africans during the era of the Atlantic slave trade paints a harrowing picture of human cruelty and suffering. Imagine living in a peaceful village, going about your daily routine, when suddenly chaos erupts. European and American slave traders, hungry for profit, strike deals with African intermediaries, plunging communities into turmoil. It's a scene straight out of a nightmare. Raids, fires raging, and the heart-wrenching cries of families torn apart. In the blink of an eye, lives are shattered and futures are stolen. Men, women, and children are snatched from their homes, their only crime being born in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the horror doesn't end there. No, it's just the beginning of a long and agonizing journey. Captured Africans are herded like cattle, forced to march for miles on end their spirits broken, their bodies weary. They endure hunger, thirst, and the merciless whip of their captors. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, they reach the coast, where their fate hangs in the balance. Will they be sold into slavery or granted a reprieve? For many, there is no escape. They are crammed into barracoons or thrown into dark, damp dungeons, waiting for ships to arrive and whisk them away to a life of bondage. But here's something you may not know. While many Africans were captured inland, some villages became notorious hotspots for slave raids. One such village was Bani in present-day Nigeria, which tragically earned the nickname the slave capital of Africa due to the high number of slaves exported from its shores. It's a chilling reminder of the dark legacy of the slave trade and the immense suffering endured by millions of people. And yet, amidst the darkness, there are stories of resilience, resistance, and hope. The descendants of those who survived the horrors of slavery continue to carry their legacy forward, reminding us never to forget the past and to strive for a better, more just future. Transportation to the Americas The Middle Passage, a dark chapter in human history, paints a gruesome picture of unimaginable suffering endured by enslaved Africans. As they embarked on this treacherous voyage, hope dwindled and despair loomed large. Picture this. Hundreds, sometimes even thousands, of men, women, and children, torn from their homes and loved ones, packed like sardines into the bowels of massive slave ships. The stench of sweat, vomit, and excrement hangs heavy in the air as chains clank and groans echo off the walls. Imagine being shackled for days, weeks, or even months on end. Unable to move, barely able to breathe, surrounded by darkness and despair. The heat is suffocating, the air thick with misery and fear. But it's not just the physical torment that hounds them, it's the psychological torture as well. Many enslaved individuals endure unimaginable trauma, witnessing unspeakable horrors and grappling with the crushing weight of their newfound reality. And then there's the relentless onslaught of disease. With no access to clean water or proper sanitation, illness runs rampant, claiming countless lives along the way. From dysentery to smallpox, death lurks around every corner, casting a shadow of despair over the entire journey. But amidst the darkness, there are stories of resilience and resistance. Despite the odds stacked against them, many enslaved Africans find ways to defy their oppressors, holding on to hope and preserving their dignity in the face of unimaginable cruelty. It's a reminder of the indomitable human spirit and the enduring power of hope in even the bleakest of circumstances. And as we reflect on the horrors of the Middle Passage, may we never forget the countless lives lost and the enduring legacy of resilience left behind. Psychological Trauma The Middle Passage was a harrowing journey that left an indelible mark on the lives of enslaved Africans. While the physical suffering endured during this voyage is well documented, the psychological toll it took is equally significant. 
Imagine being torn away from everything you know and love, forced onto a cramped and overcrowded ship, surrounded by strangers who speak different languages and follow unfamiliar customs. For many enslaved Africans, the Middle Passage was a descent into the unknown, a journey fraught with fear, uncertainty, and despair. Separated from their families and communities, they grappled with the agonizing reality of their situation, haunted by the prospect of never seeing their loved ones again. The constant threat of violence and abuse only added to their anguish, leaving scars that would last a lifetime. But amidst the darkness, there were moments of resilience and resistance. Enslaved Africans found ways to support each other, to hold on to hope in the face of unimaginable adversity. They drew strength from their shared experiences, forging bonds that transcended language and culture. And yet for many, the trauma of the Middle Passage would never truly heal. It would linger in their memories, shaping their identities and influencing their actions for generations to come. The legacy of the Middle Passage serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, even in the darkest of times. It is a testament to the strength and endurance of enslaved Africans, who refused to be broken by the cruelty of the Atlantic slave trade. Life on Plantations Enslaved Africans endured unimaginable suffering on plantations across the Americas. Their daily lives were marked by relentless toil under the scorching sun, working from dawn till dusk in fields filled with backbreaking labor. Imagine the weight of heavy crops on your shoulders, the ache in your muscles as you bend over row after row, knowing that any moment of rest could result in punishment. But the physical strain was only one part of their ordeal. Enslaved Africans also faced constant surveillance, living under the watchful eyes of overseers who enforced discipline with whip in hand. Every move they made was scrutinized. Every word spoken could lead to repercussions. The threat of violence hung over them like a dark cloud, a constant reminder of their powerlessness in the face of oppression. Denied basic human rights, they were treated as mere property, stripped of their dignity and humanity. Families were torn apart, loved ones separated with no hope of reunion. It was a life of despair, where dreams of freedom seemed like distant fantasies. Yet, amidst the cruel tie and injustice, there were moments of resistance and resilience. Enslaved Africans found ways to assert their humanity, to maintain their dignity in the face of dehumanization. They formed bonds of solidarity, supporting each other in times of need, finding strength in their shared struggle. The legacy of their resilience lives on, a testament to the enduring spirit of those who refuse to be broken by the brutality of slavery. Their stories serve as a reminder of the importance of remembering the past, of bearing witness to the injustices inflicted upon them, and of honoring their legacy by working towards a more just and equitable future. Cultural Suppression and Family Disruption Enslaved individuals faced immense challenges beyond the physical hardships they endured. The denial of education had profound impacts on their lives and the generations to come. Without access to formal schooling, they had to rely on clandestine means to gain knowledge, often risking severe punishment to learn to read and write. This lack of education perpetuated cycles of poverty and oppression, limiting their opportunities for social mobility. Cultural expression was another area where enslaved individuals faced severe restrictions. Traditional practices, such as music, dance, and storytelling, were suppressed by slaveholders who sought to erase their cultural identities. However, despite these efforts, enslaved communities found ways to preserve their cultural heritage through covert gatherings and artistic expressions, serving as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Religious practices were also tightly controlled, with slaveholders often imposing their beliefs and forbidding enslaved individuals from practicing their own faiths freely. This suppression of religious freedom further eroded their sense of autonomy and contributed to their overall sense of dehumanization. Furthermore, the systematic breaking up of families had devastating consequences on enslaved communities. The forced separation of parents and children, spouses and siblings inflicted deep emotional wounds that reverberated through generations. The loss of family bonds left individuals vulnerable and isolated, exacerbating their sense of helplessness and despair. Despite these injustices, 
enslaved individuals demonstrated remarkable resilience and resistance. They forged new forms of kinship and community, finding strength and solidarity and mutual support. Through acts of defiance and perseverance, they reclaimed agency over their lives and upheld their humanity in the face of unimaginable adversity. The denial of education, cultural expression, and religious freedom had profound and enduring effects on enslaved individuals. Yet, despite these systemic injustices, they persevered, leaving behind a legacy of resilience and resistance that continues to inspire and resonate today. Their stories serve as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of oppression and injustice. Resistance and resilience. Despite enduring unimaginable horrors, enslaved Africans exhibited remarkable resilience and defiance. Amidst oppression, they clung to their cultural heritage, preserving their languages, songs, dances, and oral traditions. These cultural expressions were not merely forms of entertainment, but served as vital pillars of identity and community cohesion. Preservation of language. Enslaved Africans safeguarded their native languages as a means of retaining a connection to their roots. Language was more than just a means of communication. It was a symbol of resistance against forced assimilation and a source of pride in their heritage. Songs of survival. Enslaved Africans used music as a form of resistance and solidarity. Spirituals and work songs conveyed messages of hope, freedom, and resilience, providing solace amidst adversity. These songs not only uplifted spirits, but also served as covert means of communication and organizing rebellions. Dances as cultural expression. Dance was another powerful medium through which enslaved Africans expressed their cultural identity. Traditional dances served as a form of cultural preservation, passed down through generations despite attempts to suppress them. These dances provided a sense of belonging and solidarity within enslaved communities. Oral traditions, enslaved Africans passed down knowledge, wisdom, and traditions, ensuring that their heritage would endure. These narratives served as a form of resistance against the erasure of their cultural identities. The preservation of language, songs, dances, and oral traditions among enslaved Africans was not just a testament to their resilience, but also a means of asserting their humanity and resisting the dehumanizing effects of slavery. These cultural expressions served as lifelines, sustaining their spirits and forging bonds of solidarity in the face of unimaginable adversity. Enduring Impact The Atlantic slave trade had a deep and long-lasting impact on both African societies and the communities of African descendants in America. Let's dive into how this dark chapter in history continues to affect us today. The trauma inflicted upon enslaved individuals and their descendants left profound emotional scars that endure to this day. Families were torn apart, cultures were suppressed, and identities were fractured. The legacy of this pain can still be felt in the collective memory of African diaspora communities, influencing everything from social dynamics to mental health. The economic ramifications of the slave trade are far-reaching. Enslaved Africans were exploited for their labor, creating wealth for European colonizers and perpetuating economic inequalities that persist today. The legacy of slavery can be seen in disparities in income, employment opportunities, and access to resources, perpetuating cycles of poverty and marginalization. Perhaps one of the most enduring legacies of the Atlantic slave trade is the systemic racism it institutionalized. The notion of racial hierarchy, established to justify the subjugation of Africans, continues to shape societal structures and attitudes. From education to healthcare, African descendants still face systemic barriers that perpetuate discrimination and inequality. The Atlantic slave trade left a deep imprint on both African and American societies, manifesting in emotional trauma, economic disparities, and systemic racism that persist to this day. Recognizing and addressing these enduring impacts is essential for building a more just and equitable future. Legacy of Systemic Racism The ongoing effects of systemic racism continue to shape the lives of African descendants in significant ways. Let's explore how these impacts persist across different aspects of society. Systemic racism is like a stubborn weed deeply rooted in our society. 
spreading discrimination against African descendants across different areas of life. Imagine trying to run a race with heavy weights tied to your ankles. That's what it feels like for many African Americans seeking opportunities in employment, housing, education, and healthcare. Landing a job can feel like navigating a maze filled with obstacles for African Americans. Despite their qualifications and skills, they often encounter biased hiring practices and glass ceilings that limit their career growth. Finding a safe and affordable place to call home shouldn't be a privilege, but for African Americans, it often feels like an uphill battle. Discriminatory practices in housing policies and lending practices make it harder for them to access quality housing options. Education is supposed to be the great equalizer, but for African American students, it's often an uphill climb. They face disparities in school funding, unequal access to quality education, and disproportionate disciplinary actions, making it harder for them to succeed. Seeking medical care shouldn't depend on the color of your skin, but systemic racism makes it so. African Americans often encounter biases in healthcare settings, leading to inadequate treatment, misdiagnosis, and poorer health outcomes. The scars of slavery and segregation still run deep, leaving behind a trail of economic inequality that continues to haunt African Americans today. Picture a race where some start miles ahead while others struggle to catch up. It's like that for many African American families facing socioeconomic challenges. Limited access to good schools means fewer opportunities to learn and grow, setting them back in the pursuit of higher education and better jobs. Discrimination in the workplace further widens the gap, with African Americans facing barriers to advancement and unequal pay compared to their counterparts. And when it comes to wealth, the playing field is anything but level. Centuries of systemic oppression have left African Americans with fewer assets and resources, making it harder to build generational wealth and financial stability. This cycle of disadvantage perpetuates itself as economic hardship begets more economic hardship. Breaking free from this cycle requires more than just good intentions. It demands systemic change and a commitment to dismantling the structures that uphold inequality. Systemic racism continues to restrict access to essential resources and opportunities for African descendants. This includes inadequate access to healthcare, limited access to affordable housing, and disproportionate involvement in the criminal justice system. The enduring legacy of systemic racism manifests in the ongoing discrimination, socioeconomic disparities, and unequal access to resources and opportunities faced by African descendants. Recognizing and addressing these systemic issues is crucial for fostering a more equitable and just society for all. Remembering the Victims The Atlantic slave trade stands as one of the darkest chapters in human history, where millions of lives were mercilessly torn apart. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, countless individuals endured unimaginable suffering, torn from their homes and families, forced into bondage, and subjected to unspeakable horrors. It's estimated that over 12 million Africans were forcibly taken from their homelands. Picture a sea voyage filled with despair and agony, the Middle Passage, where enslaved Africans endured overcrowded and unsanitary conditions, with death rates as high as 20% during the journey. The legacy of this tragic era lives on, etched in the collective memory of humanity. We must never forget the stories of resilience and defiance, of individuals who dared to dream of freedom despite the odds stacked against them. These stories serve as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a beacon of hope in the face of oppression. Yet, even as we remember the past, we must also confront the present-day manifestations of injustice and inequality that persist in our societies. The fight for freedom and justice is ongoing, as we strive to create a world where every individual is treated with dignity and respect, regardless of their race or background. Taking action. Each of us bears a responsibility in confronting the enduring impact of the Atlantic slave trade. This dark period in history left a profound mark on society, shaping inequalities that persist to this day. Reparations, a form of acknowledgement and compensation for historical injustices, are essential for healing and reconciliation. By advocating for reparations, we seek to address the economic and social disparities that continue to affect communities of African descent. Additionally, 
Systemic change is crucial in dismantling the structures of oppression that perpetuate inequality. Through legislative reforms and institutional transformations, we can create a more just and equitable society for all. Moreover, amplifying the voices of marginalized communities is essential in ensuring that their perspectives are heard and valued. The Atlantic slave trade represents one of the darkest chapters in human history, characterized by unimaginable cruelty, exploitation, and the denial of basic humanity. As we reckon with this painful legacy, let us commit ourselves to the pursuit of justice, healing, and reconciliation. Together, we can build a future that honors the memory of those who suffered and paves the way for a more equitable world for all. Thank you for joining us as we explored the dark period of the Atlantic slave trade. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on history, social justice, and human rights. Together, we can learn from the past and strive for a better future.